Hey guys, Matteo here. Welcome back to another video, another behind the scene. We're here at Pizzico, Pizzeria in Lisbon, uh, Sunday morning. And uh, we're basically filming a social media kind of commercial for my good friend, Tomas and Marco. Filming the behind the scene, uh, Joao, thank you so much, man. And uh, today, the reason why I wanted to do behind the scene, even if it's such a simple and short shoot, is because I wanted to show you guys what you can do with uh, pretty much not much, I mean, yeah, this is my first AC Gonzalo, one light, uh, Ursa Mini Pro and a light car. So we don't really have a shot list. Uh, basically, we're shooting him making pizza, some really beautiful shot, and then we're gonna make it happen in the editing. Likely it's gonna be just music and sound effect, probably a voiceover, maybe. We're gonna show a commercial, pizza commercial in only three hours with one camera, one first AC, and let's see what happens. Let's shoot this, let's go. So this is how I like to use the aperture, just the softbox with the diffuser and then we're gonna put the grid on it. Voila. We're shooting 48p and I think I'm gonna shoot also some AK 120 frame per second. All right guys, so now I'm basically uh, had the camera in my hands, looking to the monitor, the viewfinder, trying to have a feeling of the space. When I tell people that I usually don't do a lot of pre-production, it's because I can't really figure out what's really going on until I have a camera in my hands and I'm in the location. So now I'm trying to see what is the best angle, uh, where I have the best depth, where is the best contrast, these sort of things. Shooting AK 120p. Oh boy! Yeah, this is the show we're getting. Hmm? We also need to make it nicer in the back, but I want to keep it, if, you know, I want to keep it dark. Yeah. So everything is focused. On him. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's the emergency. Hey, imagine to put a pizza there. Too much light. Yeah. In the back right there, because it's not. Yeah. Uh, probably like go, 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 go. More. Ah. Okay. That's better. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe yeah, this. Oh, okay. Okay, guys, we basically pre light a little bit the scene. We put a light in the background. Thanks to Joao for the, the nano light panel. Here we have our Aperture 300D. We're still uh, deciding how far the light is going to be uh, because we're shooting 8K 120p. When you shoot 120p, everything is pretty much pitch black. So you need to light up the space quite a lot on any camera, really. There is where the pizza making is going to happen. And then we're gonna do some mirror shot of the pits on the table or something like that. And uh, I think that's gonna be good. Let's see what we can do with only two hours, two hour and a half time shoot. Let's see if we can capture something that look professional and good. Definitely we need the flower yeah. in slow -mo. Does it still have light in? Because now I think I'm on the oven too. Yeah, you are. I might find proper one to have an issue because we go on a spectacular. We do another pizza when I film on the dolly okay. here. Then we wait when you put it in there, dolly in, and then we put a 90 mil. Gonzalo, I think when it goes in, we need to pull on the pizza, the pizza. and keep the fire uh, blur. Okay guys, we're going slider now.
Eu fiz cu capitul pentru că nu sabia cum tu termini o uzgo. Exact. Blue, blue, blue. I think Gonzalo, we need to put the slider a little bit lower so we see the flame a little bit more. Não tenho muito hábito de usar. Ready? 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 Stylish with some basil, a lemon. Hey guys, so we wrap up the shoot. Uh, it's 12 o'clock, so we finish on time. They're opening at 12.30. Started at nine, so we shot for two hours and a half, three hours. We got some really cool shot, wine light setup. We got some pretty cool shot at 8K 120p. In the oven, it was a little bit too dark, so we had to step down go to 48 frames per second, but we got some incredible stuff. Uh, so glad that we got the behind the scenes so you guys can see what you could potentially do uh, if you know what you're doing in only three hours. So let's see how this is gonna turn out. As you can see, this was a very, very fast and quick shoot. Uh, not a lot of uh, shot lists, not a lot of pre prepping, not a lot of scheduling or anything, but came out pretty good and uh, super excited to see the footage. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.